Hey, today we're going to show you how to test your old locomotives, even if you don't have all the parts using a 9-volt battery. It's good to have you here. Stick around. together for them to be able to test it on the track. So I don't know if my locomotives work. So I don't want to go order a bunch of parts if my locomotives don't work because I don't want to buy all new locomotives so I don't know how to test them. Have you checked YouTube to see this way? No, I mean, I don't know how you would test your locomotives if you don't have all the pieces for them. I don't know how you would know if they work if you don't have all the pieces for them and you can't put it all together. Then why do you go check YouTube? I might do that because I got to do something besides watching this news. Maybe my old trains are the answer. I have to figure out how I can test my locomotives without having all the pieces there to see if my motors work. Because if my motors work, I don't mind ordering a few pieces, getting them all on the track, and getting my train running again. Go to YouTube. I don't even know where my old trains are, though, do you? Of course I do. You put your old train in the closet where the printer room is. Thank you. I sure did. I'm going to go check that out right now. All right. Where did I put those things? Where did I put those things? Where did I put those things? Old locomotives. Right here, let's go check. Let's go down to the train shed and check it out. Okay. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Rude Home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, welcoming you to the channel. We hope you enjoyed our skit, and we're glad to have you here with us on our video today on how we use a nine volt battery to test our locomotive motors. All right, around here, so we know if they work before we go to the trouble of putting them all together or whatever. You could, you might be in a situation where you're wanting to run trains and you haven't in a long time. You might have old locomotives in the closet that don't have all the pieces directly with them, or you might not be able to find all the pieces. You'd like to know if the motor works so you could order more pieces and get them in and get your trains going. I'm going to show you today how you can use a 9-volt battery to do that. What we're about to do is we're going to move you over here to the other table. I'm going to give you a close-up view of this, and we're going to show you how we use this 9-volt battery to let you know if your motor's good, then you can go ahead and order your other pieces and get those trains right. Quick side note before we go over to the table about the differences in DC and DCC with this. All right, this method will work with DC. This method will work with DCC as long as the decoder is DC and DCC decoder. If the decoder is DCC alone, this method will not work, everybody. All right, so if you have decoders that are DC and DCC decoders, you can use this method. If you have just DC, you can use this method. But if your decoder is strictly DCC, then this method will not work. All right, everybody. So you got your old locomotive out of the box and you bring it down to your train room and you begin to disassemble it. Well, you may or may not know how to disassemble it. If you don't have it, if you don't know how to disassemble it, find the brand and type and search for it on YouTube. Chances are you can find a video that's going to show you how to disassemble your locomotive. All right. For example, if you've got a Kato F7 series, you can go check my channel and you'll find a video on how to disassemble that model. All right. So what you want to do is once you get it disassembled, I'm assuming that it's been in the closet and you probably want to clean and lubricate it to some point. All right. You want to make sure you don't have any, you know, hair, fuzz, dust, um, a little uh, shot of lube on it. Probably wouldn't hurt a very small amount of lubrication in there. But once you get it clean and you get a little lube on it, all right, then all you're going to want to do on your motor is find that your two co contact points. You're going to have two electrical pickups that are your contact points for your motor. 
And what you're going to want to do is simply take your positive, your positive side and your negative side and touch it to each contact point simultaneously. And what's going to happen is when you do that, your motor is going to run in one direction, forward or reverse, I don't know which. Once you spin it around and you touch it to it, it's going to test the opposite direction. You can run it for a few seconds in each direction once you know it's working to get your lube worked in just a little bit. And then you want to stop because you know that your locomotive motor works. Now you can go to eBay, Amazon, or whoever and order your parts that you need with confidence because when those parts come in you know you can put them on this locomotive you can get that locomotive on the track and you can get to work on getting your trains running and that's how we test our old locomotives here on the iron horse route using a nine volt battery everybody we want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch our content today we do want to encourage you if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe go ahead and click the bell icon and set it for all so you're alerted to future uploads also, if you have not smashed the thumbs up button for us already, we sure would appreciate it. We'd ask you to please leave a comment below so we know that you were here. And we don't use other platforms, so if you would be willing to share this on other platforms with your other modeling friends you think might enjoy this, AJ and I sure would appreciate it. This has been Brian and AJ with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. Thanking you for watching our video today on how we use a 9-volt battery to test our old locomotives. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch our content. We hope you'll check back into our channel soon for our next video, which will be coming up in about a week. Thank you. Thank you.